case you're wondering, it's a gopher going, ah, fuck it. Greetings and welcome to Ask Tamazoo Playboy with the glasses. How sad are you by the passing of the legendary Hugh Hefner? That's a very good question. And the answer is, I'm deeply depressed. Although we all knew this day was going to come at some point. But it's still shocking to see that Hugh Hefner has to go fly the coop. Especially as soon as I was mentioning all this wonderful stuff about the mansion and the will, but we'll get to that later. I thought Hugh Hefner was going to live at least another decade. Or maybe forever. I was hoping he would be the chosen one. The one that the prophecy spoke of that will live for all of eternity. Sadly, that will never be. But Hugh Hefner does leave a lasting legacy. And that is, he's a fucking playboy by heart. And I get my inspiration from him. God bless you, Hugh Hefner. You will be praised way up above here. You will not go to hell because you are an inspiration to all of us. So I hope you enjoy your time in heaven. Wait, guacamole! Yes. Who inherits Hefner's $50 million fortune? Oh, I bet you probably read that in the news. I'm pretty sure his wife will have something to say about that. But I might have something to say about that too. Considering, have you not seen my videos in the past when I talked about Hugh Hefner and the fact that if he dies, who gets stuff like that? Yeah, me! I just fucking get that crap! I am like the definition of a playboy! Look, I'm wearing a gopher shirt and the... You know that gopher noise, although you can barely hear it on the video. Along with my famous sweatpants. You know, these... Along with my silky robe and my wonderful piece of finery of cord pipe. I was made to be a playboy. Hence the name! So I should have something to say about that inheritance of whatnot and the fortunes and all that wonderful kind of stuff. No, you shouldn't! You don't even know what the hell you're talking about! I bet you don't even know what the hell I'm talking about, Commander Loser. Exactly, because you're a nut job. As are you, with your stupid reviews. By the way, didn't YouTube just block your fucking Sesame Street Christmas review? What? That's impossible! Go look it up on your YouTube page. Oh wait, that's my YouTube page. It's the fucking creator's YouTube page. Whatever! You're interrupting a damn video. I should get the Arrington's and the Fortunes because... Well, I was made to live in that Playboy. Although, if the wife has something to say about it, I'll let her do all that wonderful stuff too. <laughs> but you'll have to do it with me. Nice little mud wrestling. And I won't even have to wrestle her for it. She could just pretend to fight some person or fight the invisible boogeyman. Lose, and then I get the prophecy. Along with all of its rich inheritance. And the nugget pour. Wait, guacamole! Yes. But seriously, if you want an, a defiant answer, it's the wife. It's always the wife. Duh. Is it time to talk about Hugh Hefner's will? Ah, as a matter of fact, I have a list right, right here. Wait, where is it? Ah, here, here's the will. All right, let's see. Um, Hugh Hefner's will. To Mizzou Playboy, I bestow and bequeath upon you all the finances of the Playboy Mansion. Whoopee, I got the Playboy Mansion! Hey, wait a minute, did you read the news? I thought the guy who came up with the Twinkies is doing it. No. Have you seen the will? The will clearly states that I get it. Let me see that. Fine. That's just a blank piece of paper! You fucking liar! <laughs> no, seriously. I should get that fucking mansion. You wanna know why? Because I was made to have parties all fucking night long. And I could possibly have the questionnaires Come and join. You know Spencer, Derek, although his rows are fucking out of it. Colin, although his fucking cardinals are out of it. Uh, let's see, who am I missing? Oh yeah, Johnny 8-Ball. Too, too specific. Sorry! Oh wait, there's nothing specific about Loser B though! Yeah, I guess they can get an invite too or something like that. I don't know. But I should get the mansion! Now, what else does the will say? Now let's see. Okay, let's see, what else? There's something about the wife, yada yada yada. 
to Willy Be a Hobo, I bequeath to you $250 million! That's a ripoff! He should get a squad! He should get the dime! Not even a dime at your Christmas Eve! That's bullshit! How the fuck are you in here in a quarter billion dollars? Um, I was like buddy buddies with them. Since when were you buddies with you, Hefner? Oh, we go back a long time. But you can't even remember squat. You're so fucking high. I was before I was like my typical chef in the mirror. So yeah, we had parties all night long. How come I wasn't invited? Because nobody likes you, Playboy. Shut up, Commander Loser. Willie, how the fuck do you get 250 million fucking dollars? Well, you get the mansion. He doesn't get the fucking mansion. You don't get 250 million dollars. That's a blank piece of... All right, if Commander Loser wants to be Buzz Killington, fine, there's no fucking will. But I should get the fucking mansion. With guacamole. Yes. What about the Playboy Mansion? Didn't I just tell you I want the Playboy Mansion? What a waste of a question. Let's move on. The Twins went from 59 and 103 to the playoffs. What are you going to do next? I'll go on an escalator land! So I can meet you, Hefner. And watch the Twins beat the fucking Yankees! Once and for all! Those goddamn Yankees have got to fucking go, and it's about time the Twins finally conquer their demons and send the Yankees straight to fucking hell. I am dead fucking serious. I am tired of the Yankees dominating the Twins every chance the Twins make the playoffs. It's done with. It's over with. It's time to fucking turn over a new leaf and beat the crap out of the Yankees. So yes, I want that to happen when I'm in Escalator Land with Hugh Hefner. Wait, guacamole! Yes. Who will win the World Series? Well, remember when I said the Dodgers are going to win the World Series? And it was probably going to be against the Astros? Uh, yeah. Change of plan. I think the Indians are going to win the World Series. Provided they don't lose to the Twins, which if the Twins make the fucking World Series, oh, I like their chances. Except when they play the Astros and the Dodgers. That might be a bit of an issue. So, yeah, give me the Indians. Although I'm pretty sure you don't want my opinion, you probably want to hear what Mr. I'm rooting for the Cellar Dwellers has to say. Alright! How many of you want to hear what Willie's team is for the World Series champ? Oh, me, 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 I want to fucking know! Why do you care, Commander Loser? Because, well, I like baseball. Oh, that's a fucking lie. You were so into that fucking crazy football thread the minute I kept talking about baseball. You are so not into it. But that's your Willie. Okay, Willie. Besides the Reds and the White Sox and the A's whom you've mentioned before, who do you think will win the World Series? Um, I think Toronto will. See, ladies and gentlemen, this is why Willie will never get views on YouTube. You don't know! Ah, stop rooting for the Zeller teams! Idiot! Seriously, why, what, what makes you think Toronto? I like Toronto! Canada Rock! What?! Hey, finally! Commander Loser and I have something to agree on! You know what? Hey, Commander Loser, I'm giving you the honors. Pick the crap out of Willie! Oh, with pleasure! Damn Canadian! <laughs> <laughs> God, I know you're sick! And so is Doodle Pops! Really? You hate the Doodle Pops? I thought they were pretty decent. Are you nuts? You know they're from Canada, right? Ah, oh, well then, on second thought, you! Nothing good has ever come out of Canada. Except for maybe hockey, but they're way too obsessed for that. So yes, the Indians will win the World Series. And if the Cubs win it, I will bury them in a heartbeat, because I don't want them to win it again! If all those fails, I got the twins at least. Hee <laughs> hee! What are your thoughts with the NFL players' protest? I think they're doing the right thing. Stand up for yourself, and fight for unity. Because God damn it, this nation is as divided as it has ever been, and Trump is not helping the goddamn cause. Do you want to know why the players are protesting? Because Trump's a fucking idiot. That's right, I censored myself. I can't stand Trump. That's how much I hate him. Seriously, focus on more important things like, oh, I don't know, 
sending aid to Puerto Rico. You realize the Puerto Ricans need fucking help? And yet no one's going to their aid. So you know what you should do, kids? You should go to the Red Cross Foundation website, make a donation, and help the Puerto Ricans because God damn it, they need some fucking help. Trump's not going to help them because he's too busy complaining about the NFL players doing what they are meant to do. And for once, I'm on Goodell's side on this. And normally, I hate him. That's how much I fucking hate Trump. Trump, you need to focus on more important things than the players protesting, which they have a right to do. And if anybody's got a problem with that, well, then you got your own fucking opinions. But the players have their own thoughts, too. And they matter, too. So don't be messing with the players. Or they'll beat the crap out of you. Well, I don't know. But don't mess with the players. Yes. Are the Chiefs now the team to beat? I'm not talking about football. Talk to Commander Loser. Oh, I think the Chiefs have a really good chance, especially with Kareem Hunt. Thank you. Your time's up. Next. Which is better? Halloweener, month of Halloweener, or nostalgia wing? Oh, I know what you're thinking, because it's October now, just about. And it's time for Halloween stuff. And you know the Nostalgia Critic's going to be doing his stuff. And you know the Commander Loser's going to be doing his stuff. Well, I don't give a fuck. As long as it's Halloween, I'm happy. But while we're on the subject of the Nostalgia Critic, you know what would make them better? Now that we're mentioning which is better, you know what would make Channel Awesome better? PUTTING ME ON THEIR FUCKING CHANNEL! SERIOUSLY! I am sick and tired of doing this every fucking damn video. I'm closing it on 100 videos for God's sakes. Let me be on your channel! You need a question answering guy! And I'm the one to do it for you. So Doug Walker, whom is still bald and I would prefer to be hairful again, let me re revise you with the following. Let me be on your channel! Let me be on your channel! Is Batman scarier than a Stephen King novel? Oh, you better believe it. He strikes fear in the criminals of Gotham City. Unlike Stephen King, who only strikes fear on the poor, innocent, defenseless kitties. Batman will beat the crap out of Stephen King. Do you why? It's because I'm Batman! This is Zamizu Playboy with the glasses saying, There's no such thing as a dumb question until you ask it. You dumbass! Go twins! <laughs> 